Hi, I'm Casey Stockton. This is my 2012 Shoot and Touch sabbatical video application. I was born and raised in Ann Arbor, Michigan, a college town, as the youngest of three kids, and was introduced to basketball by my dad when I was about four years old. After both my older siblings went off to college, I became a gym rat. I would even bring my ball with me on family vacations and got many weird looks for dribbling in previously undribbled upon places. In high school, I experienced a lot of success as my teams went to the state final four and went undefeated in the regular season. I was then recruited and currently attend and play for Denison University, where I've been an off and on starter for four years and have become great friends with my teammates. In May, I will graduate with a degree in educational studies and a Spanish minor. I am passionate about three things, mostly. My friends and family, helping others, and educational and social community. I volunteer at a Habitat for Humanity, a call to college, St. Vincent de Paul Homeless Shelter, the Special Olympics of West Lincoln County, and the Ohio School for the Deaf. But enough about me, let's get to the plan. The first country of choice I want to go to is Rwanda. Because of the 1994 genocide, many Rwandan youth today face lives of poverty, drugs, and disease, and I want to change that. In Rwanda, I plan on working with Chris C. of Rwanda. Chris C. and develops and educates youth in Kigali. Similar to the ideals of the HELP curriculum, Chris C. emphasizes the values of equity, integrity, teamwork, accountability, and commitment, and already has programs in other sports, but has no basketball programs or courts. I will work with Chris C.'s Street Kids Project, which specifically recruits homeless children in Kigali. I've been in contact with Paul Otiento the leader and co-founder of Chris C. Rwanda. And he said I could stay with the family there, and he has talked about me volunteering at a nearby school. I have also been given the thumbs up to work with the Rwandan Youth Information Community Organization, a charity that empowers vulnerable youth, especially orphans, in Kigali. After my time in Rwanda, I plan on going to Cape Town, South Africa. I chose South Africa because they have a really, really high sexual assault rate and I feel the HELPS curriculum can counteract that because of its emphasis on gender equality. In Cape Town, I will work with the Al Noor Orphanage Project. The Al Noor Orphanage Project, while working with the Department of Social Development, encourages the community to participate in upliftment programs and provide skills development to orphans and adults. I have been in contact with Amina of the program and she said that the orphanage would heavily appreciate new basketball courts and basketball clinics. For the remaining two to three months, I will travel from Cape Town, South Africa to Durban to work with Peace Players International. Peace Players International is an established international development group that uses basketball as a platform to educate kids in KwaZulu-Natal about the threat of HIV and AIDS, while also improving educational and employment opportunities. I have been in contact with Marcel van der Hever, the director of the program, and he said I could stay at the homestay family there and is confident I can make the health curriculum fit into and be a part of the Peace Players International curriculum. The grant money will be used to cover my travel, food and housing, and more importantly, basketball equipment, courts, rims, balls, transportation costs, supplies, anything you need for basketball, as well as possibly compensating camp counselors that I might hire along the way. In my basketball clinics, I will teach kids how to compete, learn, make friends, and understand basketball concepts. Also, I hope kids will be appreciative of the sport and develop a sense of competitiveness, not only with others, but more importantly, with themselves, seeing how good they can be. As a camp counselor and leader, I will model energy and enthusiasm. Hence, I will appoint youth leaders to lead each other and create events that raise the visibility of basketball in the community, like say three-point contests, three-on-three contests, all sorts of things where the whole community can come together around the great sport of basketball. Lastly, I will get my campers to learn that basketball is not really about basketball. It's about people. It's about competing with yourself, and then it's about teamwork. In line with the health curriculum, I will promote health and disease prevention by emphasizing conditioning in the basketball camp and encouraging participant, participants to uh, practice good health habits. I plan on doing this by getting local health organizations to come in and bring pamphlets, bring brochures, um, 
give lectures to kids. I feel like I'm the best candidate for this grant because of my experience, my worldview, and my long-term goals. Uh, for about the past six years now, I've worked with kids in either an educational or athletic setting, and I feel comfortable in front of a group of kids. I feel like I can lead them and get them to be energetic and enthusiastic and excited about what they're doing. I've worked at YMCA sports camps in my hometown of Ann Arbor. I have led a gym class here at school for a local school. And this past summer, I worked at Harlem RBI. As a learning coach, I tutored students in reading comprehension in the mornings and coached them in baseball in the afternoons. Going from working in Ann Arbor camps to a camp in inner city New York was an extreme change, but I liked it because I felt my work there was more important. I see the world as a place that is imperfect but is capable of becoming perfect. I lived with a family in central Mexico for five weeks as part of a language immersion program. Although my Spanish skills significantly improved, aprendí mucho sobre la cultura mexicana y los problemas que existen ahí hoy. Specifically, I was witness to extreme poverty and drug wars. After my past summer at Harlem RBI, I was hooked on helping others. I could not comprehend seeing myself in the future sitting at an office desk and working for my benefit. If I can affect one kid in a positive way, if I can get him or her to appreciate basketball, to appreciate education, to appreciate gender equity, um, I've succeeded and you have succeeded and that's worth the 10 months, that's worth the $25,000 and that's only one kid. If it's two kids, great, and it will be two kids. And I'm just so excited. But uh, I wanted to thank you for the opportunity, and uh, I look forward for, to hearing from you soon.